Hello, hello, my name is Worksy, and welcome to another video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. It would really help me, and I appreciate it a ton. It helps me get in the algorithm, it helps get this video out there. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, today I'm going to be explaining willpower. So, yeah. Willpower does two things. It increases your sanity and your reservoir. And I, I plan to test by each amount that it increases it by, and... I also do plan to test how much sanity is really affected by your willpower. So I'll get down to those two things. So let's get started the video. All right, so I've got my con here. And a few things I plan to do with it is no element, of course. Send me to the Isle of Vigils. Have my core attributes with no charisma. Intelligence, any of that nonsense. And we'll have it all in these three here. Because these do not affect my ether, willpower, or any of that shenanigans. And we should be good there. My movements and flaws don't really matter. Although we'll choose autodidact for fun. And we should be all good. So let's finalize our character. And then head over to the campfire to see what exactly... Our reservoir is to start and how much it is increased per point of willpower all right I don't want to talk to you all right I don't want to talk to you I don't want to talk to you freed all right let's risk this bonfire and for my summary I'm at 200 reservoir and as we increase our willpower by one by two by one, by two, by one, by two, by one, by two. So it essentially gives one and a half per level. If I keep leveling this, so it should get by two. Yes. So I put 10 points and it gave me 15 reservoir. Now in comparison to intelligence and the test I did before, intelligence apparently gave it two of each i believe but i could be mistaken at higher levels so yes it appears to give one and a half reservoir now what is more important is what else it gives is the sanity now uh explaining sanity real quick is that it is not a stat on any of these metrics or anything but you can notice it i find there's like a blue outline on your screen that gives you like a little tip that you're going insane. Um, and as you go insane, there will be certain effects that will affect you, like you'll start scratching your eyes and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So it is not a fun thing to go down. You do not want to go insane. And your sanity helps uh, prevent that. And there's a few traits and stuff that also work well with it. Um, with like there's some that allow you to go more insane, but you do more damage to get more you go insane and such and so on. So it can be a pretty you know if you're if you're high sanity right, um, it could be pretty good to go insane or at least close to that. So I will meet you in the depths where it'll, it'll be easier to test how insane I could go. But before I go into the depths, I need to remake my character because I did already put 10 points into willpower. So I need to fix that real quick and have zero for a nice base metric. So I want to make my con again without any willpower once more. No willpower. Nothing else really matters as nothing else really does affect sanity. And we can finalize character. And then now, I will meet you in the depths with my Zero Sanity Gamer. And welcome, welcome to the Seltor Waste. Now, my main objective is keeping this character alive for a good baseline test. So I need not to be gripped by any freshies, or any non-freshies. As you see, there's a few clan members in here. Holy shit, that guy is scaling the wall. He doesn't care. Look at that lionfish. All right. You do you, partner. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to stay in a pretty secluded spot so I could test how insane I go. I, I probably will not test um, if I go fully insane as I believe that would take way, way, way too long just for this test. So um, I'm going to attempt to test just, uh, uh, just by the eye scratches. Free line fish scale, dude. All right, so I will start a time lapse. As soon as I get up this church, dude. Yo, someone dropped a falchion here. And a ritual spear. Bro, what the hell? Okay, hopefully nothing spawns in this church here. And I will just do a minuscule amount of resting here. And then I'll see if I go insane or not. So, I'll meet you guys when I start going insane. So as you can see right here, this is the first time that we start scratching our arm, which as I've done a little bit of testing is about 18 minutes after we first entered the depths. Now um, I don't know if it's affected by taking any damage in the depths or just by taking damage from enemies in the depths, but I did take some damage here. So that is something to be of note of, and I'm not fully insane yet, but this is the first time that I start scratching myself or start shivering whatever this animation is so testing will end here as i did try to go on a little bit further but i was attacked unfortunately by some very very angry jellyfish so yeah um 18 minutes is the time to be by my other slot all right with all that out of the way we could start with their other character which i could bump my willpower up to however high i would like I have enough points, of course. Up to eight. And then... I will um, do the testing at willpower 20. To have a good even number to start this off with. So... I'll go like this. That's completely fine. And let's start in Vigil. Before we continue any more in the video, I do need to explain how to obtain willpower, and there's a few ways to. Um, the first one I figured out is, of course, just meditating with your pair of beads. So if you just click and just keep meditating with your pair of beads, you will eventually gain a level in willpower. Although it is very, very slow. So that is not something I do suggest. Um, gripping trains up your mental fortitude by taking another life. So that, I believe, also does increase willpower. And the last thing is just vibing in the depths. In the depths, uh, your sanity slowly increases, so your willpower will increase as well. If you just meditate in the depths, it's a pretty decent way to train your willpower. But be careful, as you may die. Um, so yeah, those are the three ways I found to increase my willpower. If there's any more, be sure to comment down below, as, you know, my testing is not absolute, and this game is still new. So, yeah, let's keep going. All right, we once again enter the depths with 20 willpower. Now, I will say this as a disclaimer that um, there was recently an update that really throws this whole test off because they reduced the amount of base. Okay, that was a shark off for a second. They reduced the amount of base sanity you have to make wisdom and willpower more impactful. So the first test that I did was with that update not happening like the update did not exist and this one is when it does exist but now I have 20 willpower so um, I am going to go ahead with testing I'm not going to like redo the first one because that took 
around like 40 or so minutes, and that's time I do not have. So, what I'm going to do is just bolt, just chill in the depths, first off, and just try my best to not get hit and not tamper any uh, results or anything. And we will compare this to when we had zero uh, willpower, but, oh, I'm obvious, oh god. Um, I'm going to compare this when I had zero willpower and had 100 base sanity to now having 80 base sanity but 20 willpower. Um, if sanity gives you one, sorry, if willpower gives you one sanity per level, then that should, that should make it so it should be roughly equal. I think going up here would be a nice, yeah, that seems like, this feels very safe up here. Who would go up here? Nah, me. Okay, that's the size I could go. Alright, so I'm just gonna chill. Nah, I'll chill up here. I'll chill up here, and from the moment I enter the depths, and until I start scratching my arm, that is when the timer's gonna start, okay? Alright, let's continue. Time lapse, start, clap, clap. And once again, we start scratching, scratching on our arm. So, this time I'll calculate it to be about 24 minutes after I enter the depths that I start scratching my arm. Now, I don't... There's a few things that kind of messed up this test. First things first is that me taking damage in the depths could have heightened and sped up the process in which I did go insane. As I don't know if it's just from taking damage in the depths or from damage from enemies, so that may or may not have thrown things off. Another thing is the whole sanity change. But even with the sanity change, with 20 willpower, we lasted, what, about from six more minutes in the depths? So that is something to keep count of, is that even with only 20 willpower, which isn't all that much, we lasted about 24 minutes without taking any damage, just chilling in the depths. So we could train willpower realistically by doing this. So, yeah. Um, that is what my tests have come to for sanity, is that it does increase it by a pretty nice amount. So, more willpower, more times in the depths, and and actually just more time that you don't go insane uh, by other attacks like shark goes and etc, etc. So, I believe that is all my willpower testing that I will do for now. I may do a separate video on sanity, you'll see it when it comes out. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you did like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. But other than that, peace out. Have a good night. Later, gamer.